a scope format tier list is me, Scully, and Dale Bolito. Going on. So I figure, obviously, we'll start with, with A, I think, be the easiest part to start with. So yeah. go with uh, Go Control. Go Control, yeah. I, just I, th I think there's three easy choices here. So Go Control, and then I guess I'll put underneath it when there's just like a variant of it, like Gravekeeper Spy version of it. Okay. And um, I even included like the Monarch one since we just saw. Um, the ever, ever, ever follow. Right? Yeah. Do pretty good with it. Yeah, I, I like this deck. It seemed like a side deck version. Into the main deck with it, yeah. Yeah, into the main deck. People that but, have used it since then have told me it's actually a really good deck. Yeah, if you notice the format after, that deck is very similar to like the good decks at that time where Mobius is, mm -hmm. is a tribute monster. Right, because Air Knight's or, or Air Knight's not as good at that point because Goat is limited to one. Yeah. And all the Sakuretsus are like because there's no pluses in that format really, right? Yeah, you got you gotta find your pluses through the game. Like playing through the match. So I think the one after maybe not directly here, yeah. you tell me you think is uh there's Turbo Chaos. Turbo? Yeah. And then there's the Chaos, yeah, control. the Chaos Control decks, which I would say, let's see. With more. I would, so you have the Skilled White Magician there. Is that just like, just it could a, be a Skilled White or a Skilled Dark type of thing? Um, so that's just taking up your Light Spots instead of Thunder Dragons. It could be that, right. or it could be, let me grab the other one here. Would be the Shining, you know, I think I'm missing. I think I forgot to put Shining Angel version on here. I did not see it. Maybe we could just lump that together if you don't have it here. Because I think they're they're equally the same. The Skilled White Magician version and yeah. the... You, you have Recruiter here too, right? Yeah, Recruiters I have and Angel here as well. Angel yeah. Chaos separate too? That's the, what I'm saying. I think I'm missing is the Angel oh, Chaos. Okay. Angel actually, Chaos. It's not on this list either. Yeah, I forgot that one by accident. But um, once everything's completely done, we could make a. I could make yeah, like a like one of here's everything cleaner looking and stuff. So, but yeah, I would say it's in around the same spot as the skilled white one. So, what do you think though? Far as do you think the Metamorphosis it, versions are above the like Night Assailant non-meta versions? I think the Thunder Dragon version mm -hmm. is tier one with the Turbo version with the card destruction night assailant you think they're this equal to each other or do you think one's better than the other those are like to me the the big there, there's four big decks right now yeah. that get run and uh obviously the other one is chaos Warrior, which you're about to grab mm -hmm. and it's those four decks that within amongst like the good players are probably trading matches so of these three four decks here which would you would you agree with this order of um, goats still being the pinnacle, and then chaos with metamorphosis next, or would you say warrior is next after goats? I think the weakest of the three is goat control. Okay, so you would move them all the way to the right over here. I would move goat control. I think I favor goat control a little bit over chaos warrior. But I would put the two Chaos decks in front of Goat Control. Part of it is a lot of it is being played right now. So that, that you're seeing a lot of win rate on Dueling Book with these decks. But even uh, Swiski had his Turbo deck that everyone is on right now. Yep. And it, it's, it's a good deck. Until people figure out how to beat it and then no longer plays it. All right, so we're saying that, or you're saying that chaos with metamorphosis, yep. one way or another, chaos control, different variants of chaos control, angel chaos, skilled white chaos. Well, um, I, I would I would separate that the the angel chaos versus the chaos control. Okay, so which would you put in front of that then? Would you put? I would, I would put the turbo deck. I, I I'm almost I'm probably more inclined to put turbo first before chaos control. Yeah, I, eventually, if this format, the way this format's moving is someone is going to find the better version of uh, Turbo Turbo Chaos. If now, it, like, did, did Swiss's have... version run, didn't run Metamorphosis, right? 
Sorry? Swiskey's version doesn't run Metamorphosis, right? No, it runs like Decoys, Gravekeeper Spies, okay, so Extra So this yeah, represents a that. Chaos Turbo. So As of today, I would have that first. Right, which is what we're saying is the, uh, what month is it? The June 2020 Go Format tier list. Yeah. Alright, so and, Chaos, you're saying Chaos Turbo first, and then the I Metamorphosis versions? The Metamorphosis, well, just the Thunder Dragon version I have ahead of the Angel Chaos version. Angel Chaos I would have sitting behind... And this, and the one with skilled white, I would have that behind goat control. Okay, so we'd say goat control next. I would put goat control here, and then I would put, because because we're counting post side as well, right? So yeah, I would have goat control, and then I would have chaos warrior, and then I would have angel chaos rounding out that. I guess we'll put the skilled white there. Yeah, the angel chaos. I just put it on top of that afterwards. Um, and and the go control the go control version of um, uh, sorry the gravekeeper engine in the go control. I would probably put right with the regular Sukiomi go control, and I would drop the monarchs. Well, it, are we talking Everfalls build yeah. type of thing? Yeah. I, I would lump all those three type of goal controls together. I agree. Yeah. Where you could separate the, the chaos controls. These are like kind of variants of the same deck, whereas the chaos ones... Well, I guess it's a kind of the same thing if we had put the angel chaos one with the skilled white. It's like the same yeah. concept. Like angel chaos has a chance to move up when people move to like more scapegoats and... Air Knight becomes relevant again. Yep. Um, Dimension Fusion Turbo. Or, di I'm sorry. Reasoning Gate. Reasoning Gate I would put at the high end of B. Okay. If, no if not, like, the very end of A. And Royal Magical? The same. I, I would kind of rank those decks the same. Alright, so these are somewhere around here. Oh, you know what? I put Soul Control up there. That's supposed to be this one. Okay. All right. Let's um, here. let's see. We're, we're talking about as of today, right? Because yeah. there's a lot of text I feel that will push up eventually. No, we're talking for June 2020 right now. Okay. Oh, so, do you want to make this Angel Chaos then? The one you're dragging? Because it has... Um, yeah, I think actually this one was supposed to be Angel Chaos, but it would have made yeah. more sense if I put an Angel in there, but... Alright, so Angel Chaos and its variants. I um, would... At see. the high B, I would put Zoo, just because Chaos Warrior is just a better version of it right now. Like, Chaos Warrior does much better against the meta, where Zoo or Beast Down just does better against Chaos Warrior type of thing. Okay, so then these as well I have. So then I have Reasoning Gate, and I have Reasoning Gate with Thunder Dragon in it, which is kind of just variants of similar ducks. But all right, so yeah, then we so we got Library. I've got King Tiger Warrior, like Anti Meta Warrior, um, Zoo. So with that's like without the um, without the Chaos Monsters, right? Without and, and then, well, this one, the difference of the these two decks are kind of very similar too. The Zoo is more of just... So we have this one is just beat down. And then this one is... You're playing, like, anti-meta cards like King Tiger Wangu in it. Are you putting, like, Light of Intervention in that deck, too? Type of thing? It could be. It doesn't have to be. Uh, okay. So, of these here, which do you put in front of each other? Do you move this one up to the end of it? I probably at the... Wherever I would put Reason Gate, I would put the Library deck. Okay, so I think Reason I, Gate is one tier beneath these decks we have up here. Yeah, like if, if there's like a little... So I would say at the front of the... Yeah, end. front of the... And then Quiz behind that. That makes sense to me. Yep, and I would Empty Jar. I would probably put Empty Jar... Before the... Like, beat down Zoo Dex? Uh, I think I would have the Zoo Dex first, actually. Zoo Dex and then Empty Jar. The very strong, like, 
alternative wind decks definitely belong in, in the B tier. Alright, so speaking of those decks, we got Pac-Man, we've got Skill Drain Burn, we've got Regular Burn. Do you have the aggro version of Burn? And yes, the aggro version would be... Where are you at? The aggro version of Burn. Alright, you have uh, the Enraged Battle Ox. Yeah. I don't know if you want to lump that together with... See, I think that deck is genuinely a lot lower than these other versions of it. Like, I think that's kind of just an old deck that is still around a little bit, but yeah. has gotten, like, wiped... It gets wiped out way too hard by, like, Tsukiyomi at this point. Whereas these decks are all built-in engines to, like, kind of get around just losing to Suki. Yeah, yeah, fair. Let's see if we can round out... What else do we have? I would have a Recruiter Chaos in the tier two as well mm -hmm. i think it's at still behind all these decks yeah the dimension fusion the bazoo yeah there is a um... it's an interesting one i feel like this is a really untapped deck yeah that's too. that's what i was saying dimension fusion is a card that hasn't been used enough in just standard decks like dimension fusion bringing back king tiger wangu and stuff could be like entirely one card blowout. Yeah. So yeah, this is where it starts to get tricky where you try to figure out where these decks go and like heavy slump cyber jar is I think I think that's somewhere near recruiter. I don't know which they could probably be interchanged. A lot of these could probably be interchangeable. The ones that they're next to could be switched one way or the other, I would say. Yeah. Your your B tier will probably be the largest tier. Mm -hmm. I think you can drop like Benkai and Cyberstein to to the bottom just to keep it out of the way so okay oh, shit. i agree so benkai rescue cat last turn um, of the three i think rescue cat is of the four i think rescue cat is the best of them you think so i think so i think decks combine that we're good i think we'll see eventually is rescue cat combining with the uh, cyberstein decks i think has a lot of yeah. potential too um zodia i think it's probably going to be the the, yeah, the, the, lower la the last deck for this whole thing. <laughs> All right, so then Z zombies. If uh, we're gonna start moving some stuff, zombies would probably be in the C tier. Back, it would be in the back C tier. Would you I would say... have decks like Pac Man ahead of it. Okay, where is Pac Man now? That actually okay, should be. You just moved to the far right. Okay, so Pac Man is Pac Man B tier up with these ducks. It's the thing like, with, with it's decks in, really well. Yeah, the thing with the decks in B is you can side cards for it, and mm -hmm. you could draw them, and they still might not help you. Where Pac-Man is, if you draw the decree, yeah, I guess you could still play out of the decree on it. You know what card screws this deck over the hardest is Giant Trunade. Yeah, if you if you tune it up and then put up a decree and then just just wipe the monsters out. I mean, you can tune them and then they literally just can't pay again for the wall. Yeah. Um, so I think I think I would put Pac-Man still into B tier though. I think it's proven itself enough to that point. Do you, yeah. Do you think Pac-Man is better than Burn though? Yes. Okay. I think, I think it's better than Burn. Um, I think all iterations of burn, right? Of skill drain burn and regular. Yeah, so there's three variants of burn that we have here. It's just the regular like lava golem, secret barrel, just dessert deck. Yeah. That, then you have the skill drain burn, wave. where it's kind of just the lockdown wave motion, like the comic odyssey burn type of deal. Yeah. Which honestly, this deck is a way weaker in goat format because giant true nade. Yeah. And then you have like the aggro burn, like the decks that Shane has used before to yeah. win and get second place with. Um, I think zombies are going to end up farther down on this C list then. Yeah, I think we'll put um, the two burn decks at the front of C right now. I would put Soul Control in there right behind as well too. Just Soul Control has a tough time with the, the top half. Mm -hmm. 
Um, like, soul control probably destroys everything under it, which, rightfully so. So here's and something. I think it yeah. So here's something I might stack together: is these um the gear freed warrior anti meta warrior decks. Yeah. Could probably be up here as well, kind of where the zoo and warrior and beatdown decks are. Yeah. Um. It just runs uh, smoke grenade and blaster chains, versus right. blade knights and. Yep, versus blade knights or okay. chaos monsters. I think I'm more inclined, the more I look at it, to have Empty Jar move ahead of the Zoo decks. How do you feel about that? Mm -hmm. Or do you, do you feel like Empty Jar is the weakest of the four? It's Empty Jar is such a tough one. It's kind of like we're Library, we're like... Library could actually be up all the way up in top one if the better yeah. players were running Library. Exactly, yeah. And that's how I feel about Empty Jar as well, is like you have a bunch of like unexperienced people that use it, so it doesn't get the win ratio that it probably could. It's a tough one. Like you have to it's a mix of like what is what is the best of these and what is played the most too. It's like a combination of those two things that I think builds like a tier list. Because the more things are played, the more they're countered and yeah, like a lot of people do lose to themselves playing those decks, right? Mm -hmm. And I've seen people even lose to themselves playing Reason Gate. Oh yeah, for sure. The, the same thing. Um, yeah, I think... I think, like I said before, a lot of these, you can left or right could be swapped out one way or the other. Yeah. You'd probably make an argument for it. Like, if we were doing the average player playing this deck, you would probably put Zoo ahead of the three, those two yep. um, FTK decks kind of thing. But I guess if we want to say a little bit more versed player. Mm -hmm. It's like, if, if I were to pick up Empty Jar right now, I probably wouldn't do well with it just because I don't know it, but I would learn it eventually. And it would, I would feel like it would move its way up. Yes. But it's just a deck I don't enjoy playing. Like, I wouldn't want to play it. Like, I would even put, I think, Pac-Man in front of Hi. Recruiter as well. So funny thing with Pac-Man, I, I, one of the Earth metas, Earth, Earth Sleeper metas, yep. and it was live, and I was using Pac-Man on ladder, and went like 8-0 with it. I mean, the deck, once you get the right combo pieces together, is... It's, it's gross, yeah. It's gross, yeah. <laughs> I think Chaos Recruiter, the way it's played at this point, with, I think it's honestly a lot lower than yeah. up here. It, 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 just, it hasn't it's a evolved worst... at all. Yeah. It's a it, worse it version of Angel do... Chaos, right? Yeah, exactly. It tries to do those things with... Worse monsters. Right, it becomes like more of a one-trick pony deck compared to like yeah. having the metas and everything else for it. So I would honestly yeah, like, probably put that closer to like where Soul Control is. Yeah. Um, it's like like sure swapping a tomato is good, but I would probably rather swap a pyramid turtle. All right. Where so I would gonna, think. Right, I'm gonna lower these down here for now. Then, I think after. I think we gotta place these gear free decks somewhere right now because I think yeah. they belong somewhere up here with. Again, a lot of people of probably don't play the gear free deck and they don't know how good it is and are probably wondering why we put it up there. But it's yeah, it's super, it's strong. It is a crazy deck. They recently did a 2004 tournament on uh, FormatLibrary.com, yeah. and the winner of that tournament won with the triple gear free deck of like. Mm -hmm. Even for even before Goat Format, it, it has. I mean, a deck that, in that format, I guess, is because you could draw so much stuff, too, that lets you get to that combo faster, but this deck has done good. Like, I think Spare won, or I think the first GFC was actually won by this, or one of the last FLCs was won by the Gear Free deck. Was won by that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think it, it does deserve a lot, a little more respect than, it. like, it gets no mention from anybody. 
the heavy slump deck, do you feel... Right now, I feel like it's kind of a joke deck. Okay. I think it could eventually even be up in B tier. Yeah. But it hasn't been proven, and I don't... I've only used this to the point where, like, sometimes I just draw heavy slumps without the cards to make it go off and just lose. So... I don't have yeah. enough experience myself to really say exactly where this deck should be. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I think I, I, that Bazu Dimension Fusion deck. Yeah, this needs to go somewhere. This that might need to go at the back of A. So there's a at lot the of back of A. You think all the so in front yeah. of the Raising Gate deck? Yeah, because there's a there's players playing it now. Like I just played a ladder match earlier against like the higher rank players, and I I ran against this deck twice. Yeah. So. The guys that are playing it... It's all are... consistent cards in the deck, too. It's not like... Like, the Reasoning Gate, like you said, the player could just fail with it because... The cards don't flop out right, but... Yeah. Alright, I mean, that's pretty bold putting it up there, but I'll go with it. Like, so, if I pick out the two, let me just look at... If we're basing this at all on rankings, or even... Part of it should be based off rankings or what people are using. Sure. So number eight on Dueling Book is running that deck. Mm -hmm. I lost to this deck twice. And that, number I mean, that's, eight... That's saying a lot. Like, I, I had a, I have a pretty good win rate with my goal control. When I just switch strictly to it, it's about 80%. And I lose to, like, I've lost to a random burn deck. Um, I've lost to a few disconnects and a uh, warrior deck. But this is the deck that, like, I played four matches. And I just couldn't come back. Like they could, they could literally dimension fusion, and I can't do anything the next turn to deal with all those monsters because I dealt with them all once. Right. By putting them in the grave. Okay. So gravekeepers is another one where I'm not exactly sure it should be. You still there, though? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Gravekeepers, I would, I'm fine putting there. Do you think zombies are better than Gravekeepers? Mm, no. I think they're right next to them. Yeah. But not necessarily we... better. The Spirit deck. I, I have zero experience with the Spirit deck. Alright, so this is a deck that Shane got up to, or Serenity got either I think, second place or top four with. It is kind of just like it runs these kind of monsters, and then it runs like Metazas and stuff to put on board. So it drops down monsters like Metazza for even though it's putting one monster back in your hand each time, the Metazza yeah. still stays on board so, as if it's a third monster when you put them out. And runs triple Sewer Priest, triple Susa Soldier, and it's kind of just like a triple like Sakuretsu armor. It's kind of just like a beatdown deck. But. Mm. Um, it's gotten it's top, so I figured to put it in there because it doesn't really fall into any other category. I feel like it just may have surprised people. Mm -hmm. I, I'm apt to put it somewhere near wherever this uh, like zoo deck goes. Soul control, I think, is better than, than gravekeepers. Gravekeepers and maybe at the back of C. Yeah, I think it goes up here. I don't know where the skill drain burn deck goes either. Like this, this topped up years ago at this point. So I'm seeing not so much skill drain burn. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing um, more of like this one here. Nightmare wheel. Like more nightmare. Where do you put the nightmare wheel level limit area B type of deck? I would put it with this one. Like this is like the old school burn decks. I never knew nightmare wheel was played. Like I. That was not a well-known card at that point, for whatever reason. It was legal, I just but... Out. And it's so I just good that it works on face downs. Yeah. yeah. Just found that out. I didn't know that till a few years ago myself. So let's see. All right, so I'm fine with the skill drain burn deck going towards the back of something. Yeah. Um, do you remember this deck? Formerly the known as the answer. Yeah, spell canceler, anti-meta warrior. I, I briefly. I probably played against it a few times, and it was just not good. Mm -hmm. So let's see. The Heavy Slump deck, I'm good putting there. 
Yeah. With soul control being behind them. And then those two. Uh, what about Chaos Recruiter? Yeah, Chaos Recruiter. I, I would I would put Chaos Recruiter with. Before the Heavy Slump? Yeah, before Heavy Slump. As of right now, I, w I think I would put even soul control ahead of Heavy Slump. So right. with, with. Side by side with Chaos Recruiter though. See what else we have here. What is like just the easily the worst deck? Exodia. Yeah, for sure. I think Stein is just uh a better version of Benkai. Benkai would probably be at the bottom of E as well. So Rescue Cat, Benkai, Stein, Last, Last. Turn, then Exodia. I just yeah. don't know, I guess this stuck here. Honestly, it's probably better. Than those. Then yeah. But do you think do you think it's better than the spirit deck? I think it's probably better than the spirit deck. Um, I think the spirit um, deck is better. I just have zero, zero experience with yeah. it, just from it, but I'll take your word on that. I think this deck has even proven itself. More than so, the spirit deck? So this deck, when we did the, um, this deck's a weird one too, because, so for, when we did the Dark End Dragon tournament, yeah, um, tons of people entered with Reasoning Gate and Reversal Quiz, right? So yeah. the, someone entered and topped two of those events with the spell canceler anti meta warrior because it had it was able to just blow people out. Just drop a spell canceler. Just drop yeah. a spell canceler. And it, it was a weird deck too. They played like Gravity Bind and like Mirage Dragon in it and Pitch Black Werewolf and Wall of Revealing Light. So like just to like just protect to the spell canceler. Yeah. yeah. So your only out is really torrential and ring, but mm -hmm. if you have columns for that. Right. Yeah, like that, that spell cancer deck is similar to what I try to do against Reason Gate with my solemn gold control deck where I try to get an Air Knight as fast as possible and turn it to a Bolter. Yep. Um see I don't I I, I think so lowly of this Beast Down deck. <laughs> yeah. There's just better ver it's like the worst version of, of Beast Down. Decks, yeah. Yeah. Like I, I will I don't even want to put it in front of it would lose like that. The the beast down deck would probably lose the gravekeepers. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like I wouldn't even want to put it in front of these decks down here. Um, it's probably more consistent than these like rescue cat and alt win decks down here. Yeah, because I mean, if you draw slow with any of those decks, this guy you could literally go berserk gorilla turn one, turn two, enrage battle locks, and just hit kill him on the third turn. Mm -hmm. So what do you think we got right now we have turbo chaos um, as the best deck yep. followed by chaos control followed by goat control and goat control variants followed by chaos warrior and then we're saying like angel chaos angel chaos after that and it's variants yeah then you're saying dimension yeah, fusion I that card could easily make its way up to the middle. Yeah, like but in front. Not now, just not now, mm -hmm. for sure. But it's, it belongs in the A tier for sure. And then wow. the reason yeah. gate. That's probably the most surprising thing for this then that to hear that you think that's A tier. I was literally just thinking about this like recently too. I was like, Bazu with just defusion does seem underrated. So what kind of deck have you seen for that kind of deck? Like, what are the monsters they're bringing back with it? Just like Thunder they're, they're mixing and... it with the chaos, chaos monsters. Okay, it, it's like Chaos Turbo that runs like the Trip Wall, Regeki Break, Thunder Dragon, Chaos Sorcerer. Okay, so the standard yeah. Dimension Fusion Turbo yeah. with Bazu. Yeah. It gotcha. plays a Dark Magician of Chaos. Yeah, I know the deck then. That's the yeah. pretty standard version of it. 
generally people have been placing this deck in front of it, but this deck really, like, people will get wins with it, but it hasn't done anything, like, major. Like, yeah. it I think it probably wins more at the lower levels of ladder, and in tournaments, like, we see it top, but we never see it win. Yeah. Like, it, it's one of those things where you just, you call one reason, your, your win or loss is based off the reasoning hitting or not. So this is a big drop for, like, the Anti-Matter Warrior Zoo decks to, like, Previously, I would, I think they were ranked number three. I think in, the the chaos variant, chaos four is just a better version blew, of that. Yeah, it just blows out the water, right? Like you're still getting the blade knights to stop the flips, and then dropping a chaos monster that your opponent can't answer with one card. Yeah, the matchup between angel chaos and the anti meta warrior is something I'm not sure of. The thing is, too, this deck is essentially just completely dropped off the face of Earth since the uh, the Geist Warrior Chaos version came to light. Yeah, where I think that version might give the Geist version one of the toughest matchups, especially game one. Mm -hmm. What do you think of moving Pac-Man to behind like the Gear Free one here, since these are kind of the same idea type decks? Yeah. I, I, to, to pull those four together is fair. But I do think Pac-Man belongs up here in B. Like, it is one step above these, like... Like, down here, the C tier is, like... I, I guess you could argue the burn could go up here into B with them. Yeah. And then the rest of these decks are a different are at a different level. Yeah, I, I would probably put burn with pac-man just more people are, are used to playing burn over pac-man but when they if they ever play pac-man they'll notice it's probably a better version of what of that deck right like you bump these burn ones up and then like anything in a and b i can see winning a tournament yeah whereas down in c these are decks that like uh these like these are four decks that are like have done good in the past yeah but I wouldn't trust any of them to be able to beat the decks above them. Exactly. I feel like you would have to high roll the tournament, draw pretty well. Mm -hmm. Like, I've I played the majority of those decks, and I've seen some of the most atrocious hands you that can you can't even play out of. Would you argue Gravekeepers to be up here with them? Yeah. I'm not even against Gravekeepers being in front of the Spirit deck, honestly. I don't know. That's kind of I, it's done better than the Gravekeeper decks. So I shouldn't say that. Gravekeepers have not really done any, anything in a long, long time. Yeah, that's one that's where like it. you can just you could just wipe through a whole tournament with Gravekeepers. I feel like, or you could just lose every round. <laughs> yeah, that that's the reason why. Uh, like when when Gravekeepers became relevant again, people just didn't respect that deck, mm -hmm. and Royal Tribute was just destroying everybody. I think it only won one event. I think so. And I think it was just the best medical call type of thing. Right. Which it could hit again. Like, look how much chaos is <laughs> going from one to goat is like the only one of A and then B it doesn't hit the jar or the library deck. And like if you like for example, if we use Gravekeeper. If you open Necro Valley, all you need to stop is, like, Swiski's deck didn't even play MST. Mm -hmm. You just stop heavy, and you win. I think one. All you need is a Psalm for a heavy. There's no breaker. I don't know if there was a breaker. I think, but that could be breaker, but breaker's the it's easiest to counter of those kind of cards. Yeah. It's one of those anti-meta decks. Yeah, and it's probably Game better than any other anti-meta deck. Yeah. But it could also lose to itself of... Yeah, exactly. You never drew Necro Valley or something. All or right. like your Grape try to get knocked. Mm -hmm. Your second monsters and you're eating it. But yeah, I think I'm comfortable with... As of today, where I would rank these decks. Yeah, I'm sure these like... I think Exodia is probably always going to be the last on here. It probably shouldn't even be on this list, honestly. But yeah. It looks cool with the arms. So I thought... Yeah, you got to give it some respect. <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever lost to Exodia in GOAT format? Oh, never. Yeah, me neither. Um, I didn't even put like variant. Like, there's a million different ways you can make the deck, too. But the fact that Duo exists makes it so hard. 
And now, yeah. how many of these decks are running card destruction now, too? Yeah. And si a side of Dust Shoot could easily mess you up. Yeah. Um, the Jalkin deck, there's one that, like, in 2005, it would probably be up on A tier, right? Yeah, it's just, there's no, no respect. People would rather play the other... Why are you going to play that instead of Jar or Library, yeah. Like, how, how could you out it? Did you need a Book of Moon to Book of Moon Jogan? Yeah, you could Yeah, that, that was it, right? So, the, I think the weakness with that is you had a chance, game one, to still to still beat it. Um, there's other... There is ways around it now, too, that people play without Jogan. You use um that trap card that you can only activate in your opponent's non-aggression area. Yeah. Is a, probably the better version of last turn at this point. Yeah. And neither player, your opponent can't summon anything that turn, so they oh. can't they can't out it the book. Oh yeah, that seems like a much much better version. Yeah, yeah. that's like Jazz has a list like that on there. I think Stein might be better. Move up. Might be like yeah, it could be moved up. It's like in a heavy goat control field. It's really good if you play with like token Thanksgiving. Then you can pay for Stein twice. So it just clears all the goats and then Stein pays twice per game. Yeah. So like if you can come in situations where that comes up, and I'm sure there's some like Cyberjar has been like opening in the game up for a lot of these different decks more recently, I think. People have been figuring out ways to like abuse Cyberjar more and more to make these kind of decks work. A card that easily got zero respect. Maybe in the last two years. Oh yeah. Even Yeah, even recently. What? It's true. Like, as you got better playing... Cyberjar was probably in everyone's deck when they first started playing. And as you got better, you were cutting cards. And it just was one of those easy cards to cut. Mm -hmm. You're like, I don't want to give my opponent five cards. Are you kidding me? Yeah. But the more like, you play where it's like, oh, if I'm doing better in more complex game states, and it's a yeah. comeback card. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we're going to keep seeing more and more of it. Like, I don't even know if it's going to make its way to... So Morphing Jar used to be in the Goat Control decks for comeback card, as a comeback card, but... Right. I wonder if Cyber Jar will ever make it to that. Uh, maybe not. I think Morphing Jar probably should come back into the Goat Control decks too, honestly. Yeah. Like, it got to the point where it was so expected that everyone just played around it nonstop. Now if people are playing around Cyber Jar, Morphing Jar becomes... A nice surprise instead, and being able to rip all the Chaos Monsters out of your opponent's hand. The, the yeah. issue is you're afraid of loading their hand with the Chaos Monsters, and if they start with Thunder Dragons, you gotta wait till they're all gone, so... Yeah, it's just... For, it, it's it's definitely Warren's main deck space now. Morphin Jar, you think, does? Or you mean Sarah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Alright, so I, I think yeah, this I'm, is I'm a... I'm satisfied. Cool I, I like how this looks. I think it's a... Uh, Stuff that's going to be interesting to people to see uh, Chaos or to see Chaos Turbo in the front and uh, Bazoo making it to the top tier. But I, I agree with it. I'm not. I think yeah. I think it's all warranted. And again, this is just our opinions for currently right now of 2000 June of 2020. So maybe in a few I'm months sure. we could do another one and see uh, yeah. how much stuff we moved around or think has gone to different spots. Probably revisit after Goat Format Championship. Or yeah. World Championship that you do in October. That'd that, be a good time, good to, time to, to revisit. Maybe do one even halfway towards there and then one after. Yeah, maybe before, one leading into it and then yeah, coming do, out of it. Mm -hmm. Do one like a few months before and then do it after. It'd be cool. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Dale. No problem.